If you're a committed recycler, you might be wondering, what do I do with these things? Technically, they're not recyclable, but they've got parts that might be recyclable, like this lid, or that ring, or this ring, or this metal bottom. But how do you separate them without risking cutting off your finger? Well, here's an easy way. If you take a look inside those cardboard-like containers, you'll see that they're made in a spiral fashion. That's how they're put together. And that's how you can take them apart too. Take a look at this frozen juice container, for example. If you can just find the beginning of where that spiral is, then you can rip open the cardboard all the way following that spiral right to the bottom. And with a bit of a tug, you'll see that cardboard comes cleanly out of the bottom and voila here's the bottom ready for the recycling bin so what about containers that have both a top and a bottom well for those you might need the heavy weapons get out a knife just split that container safely into two find that same spiral beginning and unwind the cardboard this is a nice tea container and there's the top ring here comes the bottom. Sometimes it's hard to get a start on the spiral. If that's the case, just use the knife to make a small vertical cut and usually then it'll start nicely. The same technique works for a Parmesan cheese container for example. There's the metal bottom. And here comes the plastic top separated from that cardboard side. The same works for a coffee canister. Cut it in half, unwind, and there's the ring, the metal ring cleanly detached. And here comes the bottom. So, if you've got containers like this and you'd like to recycle as much as you can, just cut them, unwind them, and then you can keep this kind of material out of the landfill and put it into your recycling bin where it belongs.